The Earth has been through numerous ice periods in its history, and it's practicable that another bone is coming. Still, it isn't likely to be any time soon. The current scientific agreement is that the coming ice time won't begin for at least 50,000 times. There are many procurators that can beget an ice time. One is the Milankovitch circles, which are changes in the Earth's root and cock that affect the quantum of sun that reaches the Earth. These circles do so thousands of times, and they're the primary cause of the ice periods. The Milankovitch circles are caused by the gravitational pull of the sun, the moon, and the other globes. As these bodies move around the Earth, they exert gravitational force on it, which changes the shape of its root and the cock of its axis. These changes affect the amount of sun that reaches the Earth's face, which in turn affects the climate. For illustration, when the Earth's root is more elliptical, it means that the Earth is near the sun at certain moments of the time. This can cause the Earth to heat up, which can lead to fading glaciers and ocean position ascent. Another procurator that can beget an ice time is a drop in solar exertion. The sun's exertion affects the Earth's climate, and a drop in solar exertion can lead to chilling. Still, the sun's exertion is presently increasing, consequently, this isn't a major company at the moment. Eventually, mortal exertion can also contribute to an ice age. However, it could snare heat and hot the Earth, which could lag the coming ice time if we remain to discharge hothouse feasts into the atmosphere. Hothouse feasts are feasts that snare heat in the atmosphere. The most common or garden hothouse gases are carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. These feasts are released into the atmosphere from a variety of sources, involving burning fossil energies, deforestation, and husbandry. When hothouse feasts trap heat in the atmosphere, it causes the earth to get hot. This warming can lead to a variety of changes in the climate, such as further extreme rainfall events, rising ocean situations, and fading glaciers. Still, it's practicable that we could lag the coming ice time for millions of times if we remain to discharge hothouse feasts at the current rate. Still, if we take steps to reduce our emigrations, we could ensure that the coming ice time doesn't occur numerous thousands of times. Still, it would have a significant jolt on the Earth if another ice time does occur. The polar ice caps would expand, oceans would fall, and glaciers would grow. This would dislocate millions of people and revise the global climate. The goods of an ice time would vary depending on the inflexibility of the ice time. A mild ice time might only beget a slight drop in global temperatures, while an austere ice time could beget the Earth to come much colder. The jolt of an ice time on humans would also vary depending on the inflexibility of the ice time. A mild ice time might only beget many dislocations for mortal society, while an austere ice time could lead to mass demolitions and the collapse of mortal society. It's important to remember that the coming ice time isn't imminent. We've had numerous chances to prepare for it, and we can take steps to alleviate its effects. By reducing our greenhouse gas emigrations, we can ensure that the coming ice time doesn't occur numerous thousands of times. The Earth's climate is a dedal system, and it's delicate to predict exactly how an ice age would play out. The goods of an ice age would be smelled elsewhere in non-identical corridors of the world. Humans could acclimatize to an ice age, but it would be a grueling and expensive process. It's important to continue to probe the wisdom of ice periods so that we can better understand the pitfalls and form informed opinions about how to alleviate them.